All right, hey Aquarius. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We're doing the weekly is this the one read? So we're just going to start right into it. Um, for Aquarius, does this person on their mind have the potential to be the one? <laughs> Oh my god, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And does this situation involve commitment? Alright, so we're coming out with love yourself first. I feel like with that card um, coming out, this is just saying to make sure that you are um, completely open and ready, alright, for this union. Um, because this person could be the one. All right, so what you want to do is just make sure that uh, there is nothing, there's no debris of the past, right, going to be um, filtering into this um, union. Sorry, I'm outside. Um, so what your spirit team is telling you is just make sure that you are um, whole, you know, you're healed, you're whole, you're, you're, you're good. Everything is, um, everything on your end is, is uh, happy and healed and there's nothing, no baggage from the past. Um, but two, it's like, you know, when you, um, you can only love your person as much as you love yourself. All right. This is what I'm trying to say. So negative influences for this union. What are the negative influences? Oh my God. It must be the smoke. Negative influence for Aquarius. Okay. Negative influences we have coming out is the Ace of Wands. Alright, Aces are about new beginnings. Wands are about passion and sex and romance and love and um, the physical side, I feel like, of... Um, the partnership or you know what I mean so with this coming into a negative um, I feel like uh, not that you're not ready but I feel like almost you're afraid of starting something new um, yeah I feel like you're almost afraid of a new beginning with somebody okay but um, with the two of cups coming out um, this is like the soulmate card right this could be that you're afraid of your feelings um, that it could be that you feel um, that you're that you're feeling um, too deeply or not too deeply but you're just you feel like this uh, connection is really deep um, that it, it coming out in the the negative um, factors I feel like you're in your head about it like um, almost like you think about this too much um, maybe overthinking it over analyzing it all right and then we have the knight of cups coming out in the negative um, um, influences so you know I guess what I'm feeling um, I guess what I'm feeling right here is all this stuff coming under this could be the one look at the knight of cups two of cups and the ace of wands I feel like you Aquarius are thinking this is too good to be true and you know this coming out in the negative if you're thinking of something too good to be true you could be the type that's like if it, if it looks too good to be true, it is too good to be true. And I feel like that's just a negative, uh, a negative thought pattern. All right. That you should release. What are the favorable influences or factors? the favorable coming out okay this is a deep connection all right we have 1010 that is one of the rare the rare um, twin flame numbers 1010 all right so this coming out in favorable I feel like this is saying 10 of wands and 10 of swords it's okay um, this is your spirit team telling you it's okay to um, release these thoughts of this um, being too good to be true because what they're doing for you is they're sending you a wish fulfillment so if you've been manifesting somebody 
this is your team saying it's here okay it's here so um, take it um, I feel like right here it's just uh, everything that you've been wishing for and I almost feel like you Aquarius you, you're um, I almost feel like you think that you don't deserve this all right but it's not true okay um, so don't don't feel don't beat yourself up don't uh, think that you're not deserving of something um, um, truly like special and wonderful okay um, how does Aquarius feel um, about this person Right, we have the Nine of Wands, Aquarius. I feel like you feel like you don't deserve this, the Two of Wands. But if you look at these energies, look, it's like, it's almost, it almost looks like the same couple too. I feel like you feel like you don't deserve this, but look at how deeply you guys, I feel like you guys are really super deeply connected to each other. But I feel like you don't deserve I feel like you feel like you don't deserve it. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Well, obviously you're on their mind. All right, we have the magician card coming out on their end. I feel like this too is something they've been waiting for for a long time. They've been waiting for the old cycle of being, um, um, like not having anybody being single. I feel like they're waiting, they're waiting for, uh, they're waiting for that cycle to end, right? I do feel like this is something newer on both of your guys' end, and I feel like both of you guys have been waiting for this. All right, but Aquarius, I feel like you think that you don't deserve this, and that's not true. So, what can Libra, I mean Aquarius, do to ensure favorable outcome? Look at what your team is saying. Quit beating yourself up. Quit acting like you don't deserve anything. All right. We got the death card coming out. Death card. You know why? Because your team is saying this person we sent you is your wish fulfillment. But you know what? If you keep on thinking negative, guess what's going to happen? You're going to miss up the opportunity to have something that you've wanted for a long time. So what can this person do to be a part of your life? I feel like what this is saying and I feel like this is kind of uh, what this person is going to end up doing anyway but I feel like they're going to assure you that your heart's not going to get broken okay they're going to leave that plane open so that you can walk towards them and, and come towards them so they can give you you know the love and um, the care and just the support that you've um, wanted I feel like for a long time okay um I don't really think this person even has to do anything for you so much as just uh, this is your confirmation that this person is, is, is there for you and I don't feel like they're going to be in their head about you taking a minute to maybe decide or realize that this is a true love, right? It's, it's uh, I feel like it's safe. So what is the outcome of this for Aquarius? What is the outcome of this situation, this relationship for Aquarius? Hmm. 
You have the King of Swords coming out. I feel like that's you right there. I feel like this is your team telling you to buck up, son. Buck up, because it's going to be a long road, but I feel like it's going to be a long and positive road for you. This is something that you've wanted for a long time. All right, and it's finally here, so don't pass up this opportunity, okay? All right, Aquarius, those are your messages, and I will talk to you again soon.